It had already been a season of unexpected events for West Ham, almost from the word go, but the speculation of a takeover had been rife for the previous two months. Now a buyer was to appear, an Icelandic business tycoon, Egert Magnusson, a man who had been a fan of the club since he'd first seen them as a boy several years ago. His first game in charge of the club was against fellow relegation strugglers, Sheffield United. Davis has lost out to Zamora. Well, they were queuing up inside that penalty area then with Boyer and Tevis together. Zamora picks out Lee Boyer, who really should have put it into the back of the net for the opening goal for West Ham. Etherington with the corner kick. He hasn't been defended particularly well. And Hayden Muggles here has given West Ham the lead. It's all about the delivery from Matthew Everington. Lovely little flick on from Anton Ferdinand. Hayden Mullins arrives absolutely to perfection. Hayden Mullins who waited 45 games for his first Premiership goal. And now he's got two this season for West Ham United. Law can't believe their luck and their misfortune. Well, that's the chance for the Law. You expect him to hit the back of the net, but he really snatches at his shot, and it's not a good attempt by Nick Law. The youngster really should have put that into the back of the net. Chested down by Harewood. Back by Sheringham. Kenny's come out. Harewood finds the side netting. For one moment, the crowd thought it was in, and that would have been the end of Sheffield United. But they live to play their part in the last couple of minutes. Legend win. Green couldn't get that. And it's been ruled out. Kozlik was sure that he had got an equalising goal then. 